Hey there, flippers, and welcome back to Second Life Treasures. So on today's video, we are out at the boot fair, but we are not at the normal Sunday boot fair. We've come back out to Swanley. So as I said in last week's video, um, we are looking to, um, I'm looking to basically do Swanley at least once a month. Uh, so yeah, we uh, talking with uh, Nikki and Calvin, they both had really awful week last week at, at the normal boot fair. So yeah, we all decided, tell you what, let's do something different. We'll come out to Swanley this week and yeah, but I am going to be doing something a bit different this week. So it's not going to be a standard boot fair video. Um, I don't know what sort of thumbnail I'm going to create for this video, but uh, the I'm actually going to do a challenge video. So what do I mean by a challenge video? Well, I have got a limited amount. So, so, uh, so what we're going to be doing is we have got a £40 budget. And the challenge is, is to basically turn that £40 into as much profit as possible. And the reason why I'm doing this is I want, I've want i been having conversations with someone, um, or a couple of people really. One of them is a reseller. And yeah, we've had a couple of discussions because he sees what other people have been bringing to boot fairs. Um, and so many other people that I know at the boot fairs, they bring sort of five, six, seven hundred pounds to a boot fair. Um, I don't ever bring anywhere near that, but um, yeah, he's sort of got himself a bit convinced that you need mega amounts of money to be competitive at the boot fair. So what I've decided to do, decided to do this challenge video to show that you don't need mega money uh, to come to the boot fair and actually make a good profit. Now I'm probably going to fall flat on my face today, <laughs> but um, yeah, I am going to, we're going to give it a go. So, as I say, we've got a um, a budget of forty pounds. We have got we're not allowed to spend any more than that. So, as we're going around, I'm going to be keeping track of what we're spending. Um, and then what we'll do is, when, what I'll actually do it a bit differently this week. So, when we get home, um, I will basically go through everything. What I'm probably going to do actually is I'll probably go through everything towards the tail end of the week. Um, and why I say the well, reason I say that is, is I will try and get everything listed uh, that we pick up today. Um, probably tomorrow, uh, tomorrow and Tuesday, um, and then yeah, that will then we'll then have the whole week uh, to see how that sells. So yeah, that is uh, me sort of rambling on for, I think, long enough. Um, it is just coming up to five o'clock. Um, I will admit I love the fact that it's a bit brighter now. Hopefully uh, the video is not too dark, but um, yeah. So I'm going to get you out to the backpack. We'll get out and then we'll see what we can find. Yeah, mate. I'm gonna on them. Fiver. Uh, do two quid. Just because uh, there's a bit damage there, it's missing. Quid. I think they're GHDs, mate. Yeah, the thing is, if I had the cap there. Yeah, no, I'll take a fiver for them, man. Like, my missus did tell me they're expensive. I don't know how expensive, but she's told me they're worth a fiver. Okay, let me have a look. Look, fiver. Yeah, it's only my missus and my daughter said they'd, they'd, they'd give them to me last night and she said they're definitely worth a fiver. Alright, let me have a quick look. I'm not up to date with the straighteners, I've got to be honest. I'm not, I, uh, my, my last pair broke apparently. <laughs> <laughs> can I just lay that in between your feet then? Sorry. Can I just Sorry, yeah. You're alright, you're alright. Send that there, that's all. They're only wet, mate. My missus washed them last night and they ain't dried out in time, that's all. They were just a bit muddy. Alright, I'll leave it. Cheers, mate. No worries. Right. Have a good day. You too.
That is He Man, isn't it? Nope. Was it Thundercats? Nope. Hang on, let me have a look at him. He's from uh... don't, don't, don't tell him! Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, this, this time, sometime this year. Oh, God knows. Hello. <laughs> ben 10. What is it? Small soldiers. Oh, yeah. Archer. Yeah. yeah. Nice job on it, mate. Uh, I was looking for eight quid on him. He oh, goes for about 40 online, I think. Mate, I would have that Sony, but it's a little bit... Um, you do five? I do six, if you... Go on, I'll do six. Yeah, go on. Yeah. You get five, thank you. Sorry, right, mate. There you go, mate. Okay. Spot on. Lovely. Cheers, mate. Have a good day. You're right there. What's she having that? That's four pounds. Four. How much you got this? They're five pounds each. Do two? Sorry? Uh, no, I've only just got it, so it's going to be four for now. If so, we'll meet, meet in the middle, three o'clock. Three. I'll do three fifty. Go on then. God, she's in my mouth. I'm watching my mouth. Hmm? That combo? Yeah. Have a look at that, dude. Kind of sign. That's clean, that's clean dude. Mm. I, I bet you that's 70 pound unit. Mm. That's, that could be worth it. Oh. Free view. Yeah, that could be worth it. You alright mate? Let's chill on those two. Five reach. Five reach. It's worth it. What, a 20 odd quid? Dude, it's worth it. Oh. It's worth it. It's worth it. Yeah, it's a wonderful unit, dude. Just check, make sure it's not been dropped and the parts of the seals are not coming off. Check the back of it. Grab both. Yeah, they're all right. I'll have them both. They're both clean. Keep both. Yeah. There you go, mate. I'll take both of them. Thank you. Good morning. You Cheers, mate. With them, bud? I haven't. No. No, sorry. They're not complicated, are they? They're just kettle leads, I suppose, aren't they? It's yeah. Kettle lead. Yeah. yeah is that the same lead in there? Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Blinding. Cheers, mate. Cheers, Cheers mate. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't see that. Oh, okay, cool. What was that? Huh? How much was that? 20, 28, I think. Uh, Sorry, mate. How much did you take again? 20 pound each. 20 pound each. 
I'll do a deal with you, I fall. I'll share one that, mate. How much? Oh, uh, based on that. That's what I go for on eBay. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. Okay, so we have finished up at Swanley, and what we've actually done is we have now come on to Gravesend. So we've done this one the other week, and yeah, it was okay. It wasn't amazing. We did get that copy of Spec Ops the line last time we were here. So yeah, maybe we can get some more big hitting games. That would be a big success. But yeah, Swanley was, I don't know, it, was, it wasn't great today. Um, it was very crowded. There was a lot of people sort of just cat fighting for things. Um, and I just had no interest in getting involved in any of that. Um, but we did manage to get a couple of things. So we got the box pound puppy. Um, I don't think it's, it's not an 80s one. It's slightly later one. So probably early 2000s, but it is boxed. Uh, we paid four pounds for that. Uh, we've got the small soldiers figure. We paid six pounds for that. Um, and then we've got the... Uh, the Freeview, uh, Freeview DVD or Freeview Blu-ray player um, and the combi unit, uh, paid a fiver each for them. Those we have looked up and I think we're looking at about £200 profit for them. Uh, so yeah, that would be really good. But yeah, what we'll do is we'll get out, we'll have a look around Gravesend uh, and then yeah, I will start getting everything listed and we'll catch up uh, towards the end of the week uh, with how we got on. You are there, how much you have in the cap? Uh, two pounds. Two. It is real. It's, it's yeah. <laughs> Do a pound? Yeah, go on then. Yeah. There Thank you go. You. Thank you. Have a good day. Go on, mate. How much you have on that? Mm. Okay. All right. Cheers, mate. Fifty-three, fifty. Oh, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> How you been? All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, mate. Plenty of work. Mate, where is that? Can you tell me what that is? Excuse me. Can you tell me what that is because I ain't got a clue what it is. It's um, a mixer, audio what, what, mixer. What, computer? Yeah. I, I, thought it was a, I thought it was a game console. No, so what you'll do is, is you'll get like the, the streamers, right. like they do Twitch and stuff like that. Right. They'll plug into oh, this oh, and. Oh, okay, right, okay. Yeah. Oh, now I know. What's that? Now I know, I had no idea what it was. I bought it. <laughs> um, it was a TV unit I bought of summer for myself. And there was that and a few other little bits in there, which was, but I've never, I didn't know what the clue it was. <laughs> what did you want for it? A couple of quid. Yeah. Is it better for that or? Do a pound. Sorry? Do a pound. I'll do a couple of quid. Yeah, you know, go on. It's worth anything more. I bet it is, I bet it's worth hundreds, isn't it? Uh, I'll be using it myself. Listen, it has to that's what it's <laughs> doing. I ain't got a clue what it is. I'm glad you've educated in case I've seen in the future. Yeah. I I thought, oh, I thought it said Nintendo. I thought no. <laughs> yeah, no, look, uh, USB audio interface. Right, so okay. basically what you do is you'll, you'll plug your mic into that. Right. That will get plugged into the computer and then we'll have software that will be able right. to sort right. of record right. video so I thought on. something came out and you put little discs. That's, that's no. how much I know about it. No, it's fine. Yeah, no. <laughs> that's all, part, know, that's all part of this. We all learn from each yeah, other. Well, this is it. The reason why I ask is when I'm presenting with something like that again, then I'll yeah. be able to buy it or, yeah. or not to buy it. I hope you do well now, I hope it's worth more. Blinding. Have a good one, mate. Just finish it. No yeah, mate. Do you want to give me two minutes? I'll meet you at the car. Oh, See you there. Bye.
Less than a fiver each. You're making money then. You're making a tenner on each one in your. What with them? Yeah, 40 quid, all of it. You don't use stop it. Well, you want a deal, didn't you? Zippo, brand new, tenner. Wix, Flint's the lot. Go on, treat yourself. Am I on camera? <laughs> yeah, you are. Oh, sugar. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> Run! <laughs> You take your tables and all, you cheeky sod, if I turn around. <laughs> what do you mean? Now, now you know the trousers. Yeah, oh, mate. I know him too well, don't you worry about that. How's she having a Kindle? 40 quid. Tenner. It works, alright, fiver. Uh, I've got 40 on the one we've got the most, and then I've got 30 on the other. Alright. Or make me an offer. Three quid. Done. Yep. Yep. Don't literally want any more. picked it up off a wall walking home from Christian's shop. <laughs> 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 it works hard, tested it. It's That's all fine. signed out. <laughs> Some nice coin collections, there. Eh? Yeah. They're all random around the world and a few tokens and that. There you go, mate. Cheers. Cheers, Thank mate. Thank you. Five pound on the top, Charlotte Tilbury stuff. So that is going to wrap up our trip to the boot fairs. And yes, before we crack on, um, I do want to highlight the elephant in the room and the fact that I am looking like I'm radioactive. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was actually, I'm actually filming this video uh, the day that the video goes live. Um, yesterday, I was actually out at one of the, the theme parks in the UK. Um, I'm a massive theme park fan. So I actually went to the opening of Fort Park's Hyperia. And yeah, I was in the queue for about six hours. So this is the extent of queuing with no sunscreen on for six hours in the beating sun and being ginger. <laughs> so yeah, all fun and games, but I've actually got a video of that coming out on my gaming channel uh, tomorrow. Um, but yes, right back to today's challenge. So we started off with 40 pounds and yeah, I think we've done absolutely superbly. Uh, so in total, we've got uh, two, four, six. We've got eight items that we picked up. So not a massive haul from a um, art, like a pickups perspective, but definitely we've definitely got the value there. So the first one that we've got is the Panasonic Blu-ray. Uh, so it was just a device, didn't have any remotes or anything like that. Um, but and I have to admit, this and the next one were pointed out to me by Nikki. So the um, the kudos for these definitely has to go to Nikki. Uh, so we paid five pounds for this. Looking it up online, it sells for about 60 pounds. So once all said and done with sort of fees, shipping and packaging, uh, we'd be looking at a total profit of roughly 38 pounds and 82p. Uh, then from the same seller, um, and they, these were towards the end of our trip to Swanley. Then picked up a Panasonic VHS DVD combo, um, but this is also got an internal hard drive as well. Um, so yeah, it is a real all-in-one unit. Um, it does have a HDMI out as well, which is good. Uh, we paid five pounds for this. Looking them up online, uh, they go for about 150 pounds. So that is an absolutely monumental find. Uh, and I'm gonna put it down because it weighs a ton. <laughs> um, so yeah, for 115 pounds, once was all said and done, sort of shipping, um, fees, and everything, we'd be looking at a total profit of about 117 pounds. Um, yeah, because of the weight, um, and because of the price, the fees will be quite high and we're looking at it being a medium parcel. So that will be about, uh, tracked, that will be six six fifty nine, dollars um, And then I think the box that we've got for it is probably about one pound, one sixty one. I think my total on that box is. So yeah, really, really chuffed with those two. And as I say, the uh, the congrats for those has to lie with Nicky because he did point them out to me. I did see them as we were walking through, but I think by that point I I was just really struggling. Um, I, 
I say Swanley wasn't the best trip. This was probably one of the worst trips I've ever had to Swanley, uh, which didn't bode well because it was the first trip that we took Calvin to. Um, and yeah, he was less than impressed, shall we say. Um, but I will admit, he did get an absolutely cracking deal. Um, just before we left, he managed to get a... Um, a tote box filled with sort of cameras, lenses, and everything like that. I think he paid about 20 quid for it. And yeah, he, he will clear 100 to 150 quid more than easily. Uh, so yeah, absolutely stellar find he had there. Uh, right, <clears throat> next up we have got an action figure, so to speak. So this is a archer from Small Soldiers. Um, and yeah, it is, it's an interesting one. <laughs> um, so from what I can see, it, it does have sort of voice and everything like that on it. Um, it does have a movement on the hand, which I think is quite dodgy. <laughs> um, I have put batteries in it. I can't get the, the voice to play. So I haven't listed this one yet. Um, and yeah, I want to get this, get it sorted, get it working so that it's actually playing the voicing <clears throat> but yeah i just haven't had a chance to look at it yet so that will be uh, one of the things i've got to try and do this week uh did pay up a bit on this uh so we paid six pounds for this reason i've done that is because i have seen these figures before uh the small soldiers figures can sell for really really good money uh, i think some of the ones that i've sold, seen before sell for anywhere up to 50 quid this one unfortunately wasn't one of those figures um this one a push i'm gonna get about 20 quid for <clears throat> so yeah not as good as i was hoping um so yeah all in um if i can get 20 quid for it uh we'll be looking at about seven pounds and 32p profit but yeah it is what it is um i saw it there um i didn't look it up um i just yeah just had a go at it i mean, I, I did manage to get the seller down a bit i think mean, originally he was after eight for it um and yeah i think we settled on six but yeah it is what it is uh right so next up uh, i think this was a graves end pick up this one uh we got the tommy hill figure baseball cap uh, now the reason i actually picked this up was because we picked up a red one um i i can't remember where we picked it up from it might have been i think it might have been a swanley pickup and yeah I'd, I'd already sold it by the by the point of going to the boot fair so as soon as i saw this one i just picked it up straight away uh we paid a pound for that one um it will go for about 15 pounds um and that would make us uh, about eight pounds and 5p profit so yeah that was the re uh, i'd already sold one um it was a different color but it was still the same sort of cap um and yeah i, I knew that it was a an easy one to pick up list um and ship uh do, 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 do. right i'm going to wrap up the swanley ones before we move on to the gravesend ones so the last swanley pickup that we've got is a boxed pound puppy now with the pound puppies i what was it wasn't last year do you know what? I can't even remember. I'm going to put a link up to the video. Um, but I did a trip out to... I think it was the Paddock Wood Boot Fair. Um, it's not one that I go to anymore because... Uh, yeah, they got a bit funny with me filming. Um, but yeah, this one... I went there and I literally picked up... I think it was two big boxes filled with pound puppies. And... And I'll be honest, they were sitting in the loft for absolutely ages. I just hadn't got round to sorting through them and sort of getting them clean, getting them listed. Um, but what I'd done was a couple of months ago, um, I got them all down, gave them to the wife. She got them all cleaned for me. We got them listed. And yeah, they've been selling sort of quite regularly now, both the small and the big ones. Um, so yeah, I, whenever I see pound puppies, I'm always interested. Uh, saw this one there, saw that it was boxed. Now... I looked at it, I knew that it was a newer pound puppy, uh, but I was like, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely worth a pickup. Obviously, it's brand new in the box. So, yeah, I uh, asked the seller what they wanted. I think initially they wanted four quid for it. I uh, got them down to 350. Uh, this is a 2020 uh, pound puppy. Um, and basically, this is part of their Classics 80s collection. 
Um, so it's a modern remake of one of the 80s pound puppies. Uh, look it up online, they sell for about £30 in new in bo new and box condition. Uh, so for that we will probably make about £19 and 21p on this. So yeah, really, really chuffed with this. Um, and yeah, uh, anytime I see pound puppies now I will always pick them up. I mean the small ones, like the, the little ones, probably about that big. Uh, normally sell for about £10 for me. Uh, the bigger ones, um, if they're sort of 80s, um, I could normally get around 20 to 25 depending on what one it is. Um, so yeah, anytime I see them, I pick them up, as long as I can get them cheap. Uh, right, the other thing I've got is a freebie that we got from Nikki. Uh, so let me just get this box opened. So it is a pair of BMW grills. So these are all black grills um, and they are they'll basically go onto a BMW to give it that sort of M3, sort of the, the, the sort of sports model kind of look. Um, I, I haven't listed these yet uh, because I want to just go through and double check uh, what model of BMW that they're for. Uh, but yeah, once I do that, um, I'll get them listed. Um, looking them up online, uh, they go normally go for about 50 quid in a new condition. Uh, so yeah, really, really chuffed for that. The reason that he gave them to me was because I'd done him uh, a couple of favours recently by fixing some consoles that he had. Uh, so yeah, 50 quid for those. Uh, we'll probably make about £39 profit on them. Uh, I think it's £39.84. Um, so yeah, really, really chuffed with that. Um, and yeah, it'll actually be, I think that's my first car part that I've ever got. So yeah, uh, an interesting one there. Right, so we've got two more left. These last two we picked up at uh, Gravesend. So the first one that we've got is the old staple, the Amazon Kindle Fire. So this is the Kindle Fire 7, uh, and this is the ninth generation. Um, anytime I see these, I will always pick them up. Uh, they they do sell really well for me. Sometimes they might sit for a couple of weeks, but yeah, I will always pick them up. Um, and as I say, 99%, well, I'd probably say 90% of the time, um, they have no... Motion detected at the front door. I forgot to turn that off. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, so 99% of the time, uh, are, they, they just work. Um, so, yeah, I always pick these up. Um, and, yeah, so we paid... Uh, where are we? Paid £3 for that. Looking them up online, because this is the ninth generation, um, it will go for about £30. Um, and, yeah, that will make us... Uh, at 19 pounds and 21p profit then we we're going to end on probably the best pickup of the day um and yeah originally i saw this there picked it up i was I, i'll be honest i originally picked it up to potentially use myself um on my sort of setup when i'm doing sort of console repairs for the gaming channel um, but after seeing what it was worth, I was like, no, I'm definitely going to sell this. Definitely going to make it a, uh, a reselling pickup. And that is, so this is a um, Steenberg C, I think it's CI1 uh, USB audio interface. So what this is, this is used by streamers. Um, and what you do is you plug your microphones into the back. Um, and then that will go out to the PC. And what it does is it allows you to uh, control uh, sort of volume, pitch, gain, uh, and just gives you more control over the microphone audio uh, when you're streaming. And yeah, I thought, you know what, yeah, it's something I could use. Um, gives me a bit more control over my mic when I'm doing stuff at the desk. Um, but yeah, looking it up online, uh, the sell for about 130 pounds in pre-owned condition. Uh, so when I when I got it, it had a load of sort of tape marks over the side of it and everything like that, giving it a really good clean. Um, and yeah, it looks pristine now. Um, I have tested it; it does work. So this is going to be a easy list. Um, and yeah, I, I just was absolutely amazed. The 
when I was picking it up from the seller, the seller had no idea what it was. Um, so I was explaining to him uh, what it was. And yeah, I ended up getting it for two pounds. And yeah, that is just, that's, to me, that's the find of the day. Uh, even though the, the DVD combo is, is worth a bit more, I just, this was so unexpected. Um, and yeah, really, really chuffed with that. So for that, we are looking at a potential profit of 107 pounds and 24p so yeah as you can tell uh, with a couple of the bits that we picked up we have definitely done really really well with our 40 pound budget but how much of that budget did we actually spend so our total spend today was 25 pounds and 50p just amazing um i will admit i was i think at swanley i was struggling um because i was i'd look at things and then i was like well should i pick it up shouldn't i blah 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 like for example there was um what was it, it was a gopro hero 3 i want to say um and yeah i was looking at it it the ports didn't look right the ports looked like there was sort of corrosion or it just looked a bit grubby uh, Nicky ended up coming along picking it up for a fiver and yeah he's asked me to sort of have a look at it I've had a look at it now and it's completely dead uh, so yeah that one I'm actually quite glad I did walk away from but there was there was quite a few bits where I was second guessing myself because I was so determined to try and make this challenge work um, I yeah I, I was second guessing myself on a lot of things so yeah, I think there was a lot of profit that I did leave on the table today. Um, but actually, I actually quite enjoyed doing this. I think what I might do, um, I don't think... So I think the video that I'm filming tomorrow, uh, where we'll be back at um, the Chatham Boot Fair, uh, I'm probably that's probably just going to be a normal Boot Fair video. But I probably, in the future, will do um, a £40 challenge video um, at the the chat and boot fair and see how we get on uh we've also got lazy bones opening soon so we'll probably do a challenge video there as well um, and yeah it's more just to as i said at the beginning of the video it's more to put out how you don't need to be going with sort of hundreds and hundreds of pounds um, as long as you're looking for the right bits um, you can find you can get the good finds um but before we right before i keep rambling on let's run through the, the, all of the totals so as i say the total spend today was 25 pounds and 50p uh, the potential sale price of everything that we've got is 485 pounds and that would land us a total potential profit of 353 pounds and 44p so yeah as you've seen as long as you're picking up the right bits um, you can definitely make a profit. <laughs> Absolutely forgot to turn everything off this morning. <laughs> um, so, yeah, with that, I am going to wrap the video up there. Um, let me know in the comments down below, sort of, did you see anything at the boot fairs that you would have picked up? Um, I know that I'm sort of very picky on what I've sort of put in the videos, um, but, yeah... Did, did I miss anything on the stalls that I did show in the video? And yeah, what did you think of the challenge video? Is this something that you want to see me do more of in the future? Um, and yeah, so with that said, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're not already, smash that subscribe button. I am getting so, so close to the 1,000 subscriber mark. And I am just really, I really want to just push the channel over that now. I think at the time of filming, we're at 971. So we need 29 more to uh, breach the 1,000. So if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Help us get over that 1,000 subscriber milestone. But yeah, with that said, thank you so, so much for watching today. Really hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you on the next one. All right, bye.